Hello, America. Let's talk about justice. Let's talk about due process. What you're going to hear in the next couple minutes is not something you'll hear in America's courtrooms, but what you're going to hear could save someone's life and everyone needs to hear it. There's three things you need to know. The first is the jury's absolute right to nullification. Nullification means that the jury can acquit regardless of what the law says. You see, the jury is actually like the fourth branch of government, overriding the others, even the judge in that case. The jury's duty is not simply to take the word of the court or take the letter of the law. The jury's duty is to examine justice. The jury's duty is to look at the situation and determine whether there was a moral intent to commit a crime, whether there's an injured party. And if there's not, the jury's duty is to acquit. Next, nullification is one of the reasons we fought the American Revolution. William Blackstone said that it's better that 10 guilty escape than one innocent suffer. See, the jury's duty is meant to set aside the instructions of the court and judge justice alone. Throughout history, courts have been trying to control the juries with a great deal of success. But don't let it fool you. As John Adams taught us in early America, the jury's duty is to vote their conscience alone in the verdict, even if it's in complete opposition to the court. Finally, you won't hear these things in our courts today. Despite the indisputable facts of the jury's lawful right to nullify, despite the words of the founders and even modern judges like the late Justice William C. Goodlow, affirming that this is a fundamental principle of a jury, despite all that, judges in our courtrooms at the behest of prosecutors will prevent even the speaking of these things we're talking about right now. But don't let that intimidate you. It can't stop you. Because what happens in the jury room is up to the jury alone. Your right and duty is to judge justice, regardless of the instructions of the court or what the judge tells you or what prosecutors tell you. Your duty is to step up and judge justice and vote your conscience. And that's the fundamental principle of why we have a trial by jury. Now I'm going to include some more details in the notes, but mainly remember this. If you're on a jury, you have the right to nullify, to acquit and find that not guilty verdict, regardless of what the law says. If you have the slightest doubt that justice is being served, your duty is to acquit and to help your fellow jurors do the same. We have to start stepping up for our fellow man and bringing more justice into our courts. We can't have liberty unless we affirm that the unlawful suffering of our neighbor is as evil as if it were us. It's time to step up. I will no longer be silent in the face of injustice. I will stand. We must rise in defense and preservation of liberty for our children. We must step up and seek justice and ask ourselves, is this just? Is this principle? Is this liberty?